Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to bring you guys another installation tutorial video thing. I haven't made one of these in a long time, so I kind of wanted to make one for all time's sake, and also because a lot of people have asked me to make a tutorial on this specific mod. Uh, it is the Takistan Life Mod Installation Tutorial. This can be used for a bunch of other mods, and it also explains how to install TFR and a bunch of stuff, so I guess uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. If you do want to check out the mod, which I've been playing in my videos, which will also be an to a video on the top right, um, then the website is takistan.life. Just go to that website, register on here, and then you will see all the information you need to know right up here. So first and foremost, you want to download a program called Armor Free Sync. Once you've downloaded and installed that, just go ahead and launch it. Um, I mean, I don't need to show you guys how to install a, a program that's not hard. You probably know how to do that, but the important stuff is actually using this program itself. First of all, you want to go to add-on options, and you want to... Um, show it where your armor free path is or wherever you want your add-ons to actually go. In this case you can see I've told it where my actual armor free folder is which is it's a lot easier to know where everything is then and after you've done that go to repositories press plus and go ahead and copy and paste this all config URL from the website. It could change so don't just write it down from this video go to actual website register and get the most up-to-date or config link. Once you've done that just paste it into there press import and all this stuff should work easy peasy press ok and you'll see this thing right here. I've got a bunch of other stuff from a bunch of different uh, other add-ons like Ifrail and stuff like that, but you should just have the one right there. Go ahead and press this button right here and then just go ahead and press the tick button and it'll tell you what files you do have and what files you don't have. If you have installed a few mods in the past, you might already have some of this stuff. Um, if you've installed nothing in the past, then obviously you will have to download everything from scratch. But uh, in a second, it will go ahead and check for all the add-ons and as if by magic, kaboom. So you can see right now I've got everything installed except armor or all in armor terrain pack light. For you, all of these will look like this. So just go ahead and tick all of them and then press the tick button and it will download them all um, together and also tell you how much uh, there is left and the total file size and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to show you guys that, but just press the play button once you've ticked all of them. You don't need to download this and that will all be good to go. Also, one thing to know is after you've installed all these add-ons, it will pop up a menu saying you need to uh, go through the Task Force Radio installation. So go ahead and do that, show where your team speak is located, that's what obviously Task Force Radio uses, and once you've done that, you do need Task Force Radio to actually work to join the server, so you want to join the team speak, which you can go ahead and join it through that IP right there on screen, so let's go ahead and join that, and after you've done that, you need to make sure that your TFR is enabled in your plugins menu, so just go ahead and go settings and plugins, and make sure Task Force Radio or Task Force Armor Free Radio is enabled. And after you've done that and you've got everything installed, the only thing you need to do other than everything you've done so far is launch the game and actually enable the add-ons. So just go ahead and launch Armor Free. And once you've done that, you will see the beautiful launcher, which makes things kind of easy to be honest. Some people don't like using it, but I don't know why. It, it's really simple how to use it. I do have a bunch of presets already here. You can see I've already got the uh, Takistan stuff set up, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it manually if you haven't done it already. So, uh, if you go to a mods file uh, right now, if you haven't touched it before, it'll look completely empty. All you need to do is go ahead and show it where all of these add-ons are. So if I press this button right here, then go to our armor free um, folder, which is right here. The path obviously is going to vary from uh, computer to computer. This is my path, but yours will be obviously in the Steam directory, which should be uh, C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Armor Free. And then you just need to go ahead and control select every single file, which you can see right here. I've got all an Armor Trade Pack with full version, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. CBA A3, these two files right here, Task Force Radio, and finally we need AG Tacky. Once you've done that, just press select folder and it will go ahead and enable all of those. After you've done that, I'd recommend saving it as a preset. In my case, I've just gone ahead and pressed save as and uh, called it tacky stand, but I'll just call it tacky test or some shit. So that way, if you do, or tack and test, apparently I can't type, that way if you do install multiple add-ons, you can go ahead and go from this one to this one just in the click of a button. And after you've done that, just press play game and it will launch the game. The only thing you need to do now is know how to join the server, which you probably already know how to do that, but I'll show you guys anyway and just prove that it does actually work once I've launched the game. So the IP for the server you'll actually find on the TeamSpeak. So again, that kind of reinforces that you do actually need TFR. So you need to join the TeamSpeak and make sure you're on it to use TFR. And IP is right here at the top. It might change location on the TeamSpeak, but imagine it's probably always going to stay there. Uh, so once you've got that copy, just go play, multiplayer, go into remote and copy and paste the IP in there. The port is 2602, so paste the port in there. I'll just type it in, press enter, 
and it is right there. So you can go ahead and join it, and um, let's go ahead and hop in game and see if people can hear me. But yeah, just pick a save slot. I'm sure you know how to do it already, and then just press OK. So you'll see when I join the server, it'll automatically move me into a TFR room. Your team speak might lag a bit. You'll see mine's not responding right now, but it should start responding again in a second. You'll hear the beep pop video or beep pop video, the beep pop audio clip, which means uh, TFR is actually working. And then we can go ahead and spawn in uh, Raspberry and go find some, go find someone to talk to. You know, I am naked right now because I just blown up myself when I last played. Whoops a daisy. All right, so you'll see it's back uh, working again. So we just need to go ahead and set up TeamSpeak as we desire. I have a normally uh, voice activation detection for when I'm talking to friends, but obviously for this, you probably want to use push to talk, because otherwise you'll end up, I don't know, your dog will woof and then I'll activate your mic, um, which is kind of embarrassing. And for an RP server, it's probably best not to do that. Along with obviously the reasons I talked about before, um, for making the video. I did also want to make this video because I'm going to be starting a series very soon on this server and it's completely free to play on whitelisted, etc, etc. Um, all you need is a copy of Armor 3, so come hop on the server. Hopefully this tutorial was decent. If it was confusing at all, then just leave a comment and I'll clear it up. And also keep in mind that um, I will have a step-by-step -step, uh, guide in the description below. Let's go talk to these people. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Goodbye. Alright, see? We talked to him, and we could hear him. Isn't it amazing? That was amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching. I don't know why the fuck I made an installation video, but hopefully it's helpful to someone. Um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the server, tackystone.life. Check, check it out, boys. Check it out. This video was not paid for. Or was it? No, it wasn't. I wish I got paid for making fucking installation videos. That'd be well sick.